Hello everyone, welcome to JS Cakes and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about control flow and we will see how if and else block work in case of Angular and we'll also see how for loop works in Angular. So up until Angular 16 or Angular 17, it used to have a different directive in order to display the conditional statements or in order to display the conditional template on your on your HTML file. Now what I'm going to do is like I'll just try to open the same component which is the app component and here what I'm going to do is like I'll just display another conditional statement so let's say I'm going to be displaying a conditional statement so conditional statement or if there is a property in your component which sets to be true I want it to be good morning and in case if it is set to be false I, I want your template to display good afternoon so let me morning true and i'm going to be declaring that as boolean and what we're going to do is like i'll just go to the app component and i'll write if this morning i then want good morning and in case and in case if it is not then i want you to display good evening right so now let me do let me Go to the template go, go to the chrome browser and show you there so there you go now you can see that since the property is set to be true i have displayed it it, it displays good morning over here and let's say if if i change the property back to false so in that case it's going to be displaying good evening over here right so that's something you can see so now you can see that how if and else really works in case of angular so what i'm going to do is like uh, I'll try to make it a little more logical. I'll try to make this a little more logical. So in that sense, what I'm going to do is like I'll just display a button, and in case I I want this function to be called, let me display this here. And in case I want to display like this, I'm going to display it as like morning toggle, right? And let me just save this and take you back to the Chrome, and there you go right now it is good evening let's say if i click it it becomes good morning good evening good, good morning so that's how uh, essentially if and else block work and all right so now i want to bring your attention to something called iterate for loop in order to have a for loop displayed on your template you really need an iterable as well so in that sense what i'm going to do is like i'll define um define an array of an object so let me just put any over here and in that case now what i'm going to do is like i'll just display that here like firstly i'm going to be displaying the id and then good morning and now what i'm going to do is like i'll just do this four times right first is good morning second is good afternoon the third i'm going to be making it as good evening and the fourth one i'm going to be making it as good night right and in order to have these displayed on your template what you really need is let me just make it a plural one what you really need to do is just to display that here is define at the rate for loop here like this and then i'm going to be displaying cell off and then this has to really display an iterate over an iterable and then
cell dot id right and then here i'm going to be displaying is cell dot message let's just save this and let me take you to the chrome browser and there you go now you can see that it is it is iterating over an array and it is being displayed inside a for loop and if you check its template like this you may see that there are four of these being displayed over here right so this is all about for loop now i want to work uh, now again i want to take you back to the code and here at the code you may notice that with the for i have also written this track so what is this track essentially so track is nothing but a way to really see how your template is being rendered and if it is tracked by id it gets really easier for your angular framework to really understand what is getting changed basis on the id and that's how it updates so it's basically improves in the in the rendering speed and that's why you usually try to give that is a unique id so consider this as a primary key and this has to be tracked by a primary key so let's say next time when you're when anything in your object changes and then it is only going to be updating the one with the with with the change it's not really going to be doing a full rendering on its own right so that's all about uh, the id and track by function So thank you once again ladies and gentlemen for listening in and that's all about the control flow in case of angular please note that i'm only going to be covering the basic part here and then we will dive deeper into the more granular aspect of angular framework a little while later when we do the full app building in which we will also try to display and build a dashboard something similar to what you see here on your screen so stay tuned and please brush up your basic angular knowledge along with me and then i'm going to be displaying and i'm going to be making and making a website something similar to this so thank you once again ladies and gentlemen for listening and i'm going to be seeing you in the next tutorial wherein i'll talk about property binding and also we are going to be seeing how it the event handles in angular framework so thank you once again ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be seeing you in the next one until then goodbye